Hi, it's Kim, and I am back with your August predictions. I want to get a start on this because we have so much happening astrologically in the month of August, and these cards are really lining up to show us something great can happen. And I should have said this is Kim from Expressions of the Universe, but a lot of you that subscribe, you already know that. Hopefully we'll get some new viewers and make sure that you subscribe because I do release these videos before I put them out on other social media platforms and even on my website blog at www.expressionsoftheuniverse.com. So what do I have for the coming months? If you've watched my other predictive videos, January through July, you would see that I have um, a base card for each season. And the card that I'm picking, I pick these in Jan on January 1st, the new year, to predict each month of this coming year of 2017. So what I have coming up, the main energy over the next few months is to be fair. And what this is saying to me is, well, it's pretty obvious. It's justice. It's balance. And I really feel as though justice and balance is starting to come into play in the world. Now, how are we going to see this? Um, how are we going to experience that? Only time will tell. But I do feel that for so many of us that feel that things have been out of balance and chaotic and haven't been just and fair, don't worry, the next couple of months we're going to see this justice and fairness coming forth. Now the cards that I picked are the Ace of Pentacles and Fluorite, which represents here self-discipline but fluoride also is, a, is healing for me. And what the Ace of Pentacles is saying to me is, this is the manifestation of new beginnings. You see the hand of God, the creator, the universe, handing us a coin. This is new beginnings that are starting to manifest, not only financially, but I feel like new opportunities are going to be coming our way. That's really what this month of August is about. The astrological aspects are crazy off the hook. We have next Sunday, August 7th, we have a full moon, lunar eclipse in Aquarius, which is going to help us to have some cool detachment to the outcome of what's going on around us, which is pretty good because when we're too emotionally involved, like in that cancer energy, you really can't think clearly when your emotions are involved. So it's good to have some cool detachment. August 8th, we have the 888 Lions Gate, which is a portal, a new opportunity for transformation for all of us. That's when I see this really coming in with that lunar eclipse full moon and the 888 Lions Gate portal. August 12th, Mercury goes retrograde. So things could be delayed for the next, you know, three to five weeks. We're in the shadow of Mercury retrograde right now. That means delays in travel, communication, your electronics. Things could really get botched up during this time. Be sure to double check a text before you hit the send. Make sure you're sending it to the right person. Same for email. Um, I found out in the last Mercury retrograde that I sent an email to somebody that I didn't want it to go to. And it's crazy because I am so cognizant of checking and double checking and it happened anyway. My computers, my videos, they usually go wonky during a Mercury retrograde. I try not to do readings during a Mercury retrograde because sometimes the communication or the information that I am trying to put out, either I'm not communicating it correctly or my client isn't hearing it correctly. 
However, I, I am booked pretty much through October. So I'm going to just have to work through it and make sure that we connect and nothing goes awry. Um, but this Ace of Pentacles, this is, this is really good for all of us. I really think for world power, this is also the new beginnings of some financial stability in the world and the switching up and changing of some governments. I really feel that that's coming in. Oh, getting back to the astrology. So I left us off at the Mercury retrograde on August 12th and I do have my handy dandy astrological calendar and I have all of the important dates really marked off. This is the thing that we need to keep our eyes on the great American solar eclipse on August the 21st because I have predicted um, with Donald Trump's ascendant being at 29 degrees Leo which is conjunct this August 21st 29 degree uh, Leo solar eclipse that he is going to explode or implode on himself. Yes, I have predicted possible heart attack that came up this morning when I was re looking at his chart, especially because he has Pluto in the 12th house, which is very karmic. In addition to that 29 degree Leo ascendant, um, he, I just felt like he's going down in some capacity. I didn't think it was death until I saw that Pluto at 10 degrees, um, in his 12th house. So karmically it's time for him to go. He is coming to a completion of his mission. And I want to say is that, yes, he has brought a lot of chaos. He brought a lot of entertainment. Think about it. Like, I've never laughed so much at the crap that I have seen and read and heard in my entire life. So, you know, it has been extremely entertaining, but at the same time, it's been exhausting for not only Americans, but the entire world. We are exhausted from seeing this crap day after day. You never know what you're going to wake up to. And frankly, it's quite frightening because he's toying with other countries. He's toying with our allies and we need our allies. You gotta really keep an eye on that Kim Jong-un of North Korea too, because he, he's crazy. He's just as crazy as Donald Trump. And I should have looked at his chart, but I haven't. And now I'm making a mental note of it. I, I need to take a look at his chart because the things that he's doing, he's insane and it could have a huge effect on our entire world. Also too, uh, this great American solar eclipse conjunct Donald Trump's 29th degree Leo as well, could also mean that he's fixing for war. So that could be part of that explo explosion, implosion maybe not necessarily his death, but maybe the beginning of his, his tenure here in office. I don't know. I don't know all the full details because I have so much going on within myself that I haven't really spent a lot of time focusing. I'm just giving to you the information that I have picked up, but I think a lot of us are afraid that this could possibly lead to war. Now, I will say this, the last time we had a great American solar eclipse was February 26 of 1979. And the world after that really started to change politically, economically. And so I think that we do have the opportunity for some really great new beginnings coming our way. Make sure you pay attention to the opportunities that are coming out for all of us. I think a lot of us are going to fall in love very soon. Or if you are in a long-term relationship and commitment, things are going to shift. And I think for the positive, I, I really do. I think we're going to realize how important it is for us to be there for each and every one of our loved ones that really are close to us and there'll be some new paradigms and dynamics within
those long-term relationships and also to these transformations are also going to help us as humans to love in a different way than we have before which I'm really interested in and very loving um, very happy about all right so that leaves me to this fluorite. How does this crystal card play into the dynamic of my August prediction? Well, this says self-discipline, and that is something that we know Donald Trump does not have. A lot of us don't have that self-discipline. Um, but fluorite is also, whenever I think of fluorite, I always think of it as like a master healer. And I do have some fluorite here with me. Um, just so that I can show you how different these crystals can be. There's some beautiful rainbows in this. These are looking kind of dull. I haven't been using these too much. I can get lost just scrying in these. And this is one of my newest fluorites, and it kind of goes with the one that we were that I was just showing you in the card. And whenever I uh, think of fluorite, I think of healing mind, body, and spirit. And I think that's what all of us need at this time. So I'm just going to read you a quick excerpt from the, the crystal ally cards as to what the fluorite is. Standing upon an empty plane with no support available, this fluorite being holds itself erect through the practice of self-discipline. We do not always have others around us to hold us up and enable us to walk the right path. In these times, it's important for us to, to develop our own self-discipline so that we can follow the correct path, even when there is no one to see us. Fluorite's energies are both grounding and stimulating of one's higher energies. It speaks of organization, self-control, discipline, and the need to apply higher guidance that one assesses during meditation and prayer. Fluorite discourages the common addiction to spacing out on higher energies and encourages the application of those energies into the earth plane. It aids in the clearing the energy pathways of the body and encourages the light body to integrate with the physical self. Fluorite can aid those who are sensitive and open them to higher realms to maintain that earth connection. Fluorite's Fluorite's main effect upon one's energetic and emotional systems, however, is to remind one of the necessity of developing self-discipline in order to fulfill one's role as a spiritual warrior. The ability to bring the body into line with, into alignment with the mind and to bring the mind into harmony with the spirit is Fluorite's true talent. So those are my predictions for August. We'll have to wait and see what happens and I'm really just going to pray for the best outcome of all of this chaos and I'm just going to focus on the self and all the wonderful new opportunities that are coming our way and just loving up this uh, Ace of Pentacles because I think a lot of us are going to start to bring in some monies. Yay! So until next month for September, stay tuned and I'll be back with more 2017 predictions for all of you. Thanks for watching. Bye.